Morning guys, here we are today on beautiful Lake DeGray, Central Arkansas. First time for me to be out here, and I know you're looking at my screen right now. I think I have it all recorded right here. Should be working pretty good. Um, and so you're gonna be looking at my screen here. Guys, I'm on this lake. I've not been on this lake. Last time I was on it was, I think March, April of this year. And I was only on it for like a couple hours. Now there you go, you see some good, those are two good fish right there. Um, are they bass? I can tell you they are or not. Um, anyway, there, you know, one thing about this lake today, we might run into some hybrids. Uh, I haven't been fishing lakes with hybrids much lately, so I, you know, hybrids throw a wrinkle. So I'm right now in the back of this creek near the ramp, and I know there's a little high spot up here. I've already graphed it. One thing about this lake that uh, I never fished it with, but it's kind of came back as uh, it has grass. You're about to see some here. On the side scan there, you see some rock. Uh, those are just little patches of grass kind of coming up. There's some rock there to the left you're looking at right now. Um, one thing I've yet to see is bait fish though. So um, I'm just starting back here to this little high spot and guys, it's still, it's, it's the first of November, okay? And uh, the deep dive app, which I've already looked at it today. I'm gonna show you the deep dive app right here. The deep dive app kind of said the best area of the lake by their tournament data and um, this the strategic planning process. And it says that mid lake area. And, and guys, I'm in the back of this creek just seeing, cause you know, it's, I mean, it's the, it, this is also a cold front. Like guys, this was warm, now it's cold as you see, I'm bundled up, it's 30 degrees right now. Uh, but it's interesting, cause this is first November. And guys, when I did fish this lake a lot growing up, there was two years back to back. The year was 14, uh, one year was 2014, not back to back, the other was 2012, but we whacked fish back in this creek. But it was Thanksgiving week, pretty interesting. And this is not Thanksgiving week. So that deep dive app somehow might be on track of that mid lake area. But now when I look at the the, the, the top baits, well, there's still nothing guys. I'm up here, I'm about to go up on this high spot right here, let you see some of the grass and brush. I've already graphed over it. Uh, there's some fish right there you kind of see on the bottom. There's a couple little fish. I did see some fish out there in like 40 feet. Like there were some suspended and some on the bottom, but I don't, you know, I'm not gonna go throw with those yet. Here comes the grass. Just patches of it so you can kind of see. Um, and it's getting kind of shallow. Fish just busted up there. But guys, um, back to the top baits still. When you look at the top baits, it has a bunch of good baits. That top bait feature just came back out, which I'm actually excited about, fired up about, okay? Uh, that top baits, it, you can use it. I'm getting real shallow. I'm kind of in the middle of this creek on and I'm not in a good spot. There's all that grass. I'm just letting you guys look at the grass. Um, but that top bait feature, I, I like it because you can use it as a way to um, pick a bait that you like, a style of fishing you like, or if there's something you want to practice. One thing near the bottom of it that's down there is old spoon. Yep, that's what I like. Okay, so that's not a very effective and easy technique, but it's there for the fall. Of course, it says look at your bait fish first, then find your cover as rock. Um, but that might be something we might try today. Uh, the shaky head is an easy get on this lake, as you know. Um, man, I really should have don't know if I like now, guys. You should hate that, that that little divot right there, creek channel. Okay, um, just back here, graph around. But guys, you're just gonna stay with me today. Uh, I'm gonna show my screen just so you can kind of see. We can coach up, talk through this. Uh, I got. I'm gonna try to film a couple things today. But my number one goal today uh, for this for this lake, not the video. I'm just gonna give you guys a couple couple little uh, uh, shots like that. But my number one goal today: the lake's ten foot low, nine foot low. I'm coming out here graphing, graphing, graphing. Gonna mark stuff with my eyes so when the spring comes. Um, or just the future, I got it. Okay, with me about to live thirty. My new house is gonna be 34 minutes from this, from that ramp right there. So, and uh, and like I mentioned earlier, I fished this like a lot growing up. I'm erasing my memory, except that I, I did wax some fish back here, uh, two Thanksgivings, separate Thanksgivings, like week of Thanksgiving. Guys, one of those trips, we didn't even have a, a graph on our boat. Like, I don't even think the motor started. I think the motor didn't work. We trolled back here and just, just hammered them. Um, and I did a lot of bank fishing back here back in the day too, guys. Like literally, bank fishing. Caught fish all back here. So I'm just gonna come back here and graph and looking at it now. Kind of just what I know. 
But there's no bait or fish back here right now. All right. So appreciate you guys. Stay tuned. Let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and move. Let's go to the next spot. <sighs> test, 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 test. Okay, guys. Hopefully, my mic might not have worked there if it didn't sound right. But we hey, we just moved up here, kind of the mouth. I was picking some rounded points. I think there's some drains kind of on both sides. And uh, you see right there, there's some rock. A little bit of rock, which I like. I kind of, ooh, there goes some deer. Pretty deer. Uh, says it's not a connected. Lord, that thing back there is not working. I, I'm telling you guys, I need a new GoPro, new system. This right here should pick you up though. But my mic does better with that motor. Gosh dang it. All right, we're just gonna roll for a second. Um, we're just gonna roll. Hopefully y'all hear this well. Uh, but guys, I'm uh, there's some grass right there. One thing about this lake, there's a lot of brush. When the grass died, uh, when the grass died, a lot of people complained of brush. And, and these guys know what they're doing with brush. Um, and I just really don't want to fish brush piles because everybody fishes brush piles. I want to kind of find that little needle in the haystack like looking for little rock spots. Right now, I'm not even really seeing anything though. Um, I've not seen a bait ball yet though. That's one thing about bigger lakes, guys. I just want you to see, understand, and I, and I, I understand it. These bigger lakes, it might be harder to find the bait, but when you do, uh, of course you might get around fish. But like I've idled for 50 minutes already and not found bait and it might be hard for you to. Now for me, it might be moved to another part of the lake, uh, which I might, I mean, another like creek arm or something. Uh, and that bird back there, I can't think of the name of that bird because I'm not a biologist, but that bird likes bait and it's eating something. So, but right away, this might not be the creek. My gut's telling me. We're just gonna keep kind of graphing. I'm about to be on top of this rounded point though. Yeah, I'm on top of it now. There's your grass. Right here on top of it. There's rock. Not seeing anything that looks good. Kind of see on the far, I'm looking on the far right if there's a, like, there is a brush pile or bait fish over there near the drop. There could be some fish. Sometimes it's hard to see the fish in the grass, guys. I understand it. Like over there, I mean, you see just how the grass is positioned. And that's what's one thing hard about fishing grass is you might, you know, it takes it, you know, takes something to see. There's something kind of interesting over there. But right now, just by my eyes, my visual, I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it at all. I'm not liking my GoPro keep beeping and doing stuff either. I'm about to throw this in the lake. All right, guys, let's see if you, uh, I'm not gonna come back until I just find, maybe find something crazy. How about that? Get that figured up. We're gonna move. I know I could probably go up here and throw a trap and catch a fish too. If you're watching and you're like, go throw a trap. I know I can. But I told you my goal is to graph, graph, and graph today. Connected. All right, guys, we're connected. I've been messing with this thing. So, hey, I already found this one group of fish. I'm gonna try to go back over for you guys. I'm not sure if I will, but I wasn't connected and it's taken me a minute. I'm sorry, this is not as easy as it looks sometimes. So I'm just here, kind of main lake-ish, middle of that part of the lake is a deep dive app said. And uh, I just came and graphed here, kind of down the middle of the channel. There's a little high spot up here, rock grass, and man, they were dotted up on it, okay? And then I dropped the scope, which I should have got recordings for you there. And there was fish out in the middle of the channel but they were hybrids, like how they were just moving. They were big, uh, you know, and there's some fish right there on the bottom, as you see, they're tight to the bottom. And that's one thing that could be hard with the 2D at times is seeing them that tight. But there are some fish out here on the bottom and I threw the spoon at and they came up and looked at it. But anyway, those fish on the high spot were bass, 100% black bass, how they were acting to me. Um, and I caught, I pulled them off and I don't know, they, they, they ain't acting like they're wanting to eat. And I didn't fish for them long because I just know I might need to waste my time and I need to find some active fish. These hybrids out here though were just rolling real fast and it's crazy. Like they 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 didn't want to act like they were feeding either or wanting to eat. But you see that rock spot right there to the left? Uh kind of starting to come up. We're in 26 foot, it's probably up there about 10 to 15. And uh 
hopefully I got a screenshot of them dotted up. Like I think I might've got the actual screenshot. You're kind of seeing a mixture of uh, mixture dyes of grass that's on the backside. Okay, but that's all rock that you're seeing right there. And we're just right now in the middle of the mouth of this creek here, okay, on the lake. I, I might get to put the drone up later. I don't know if I'm gonna find these fish again for you guys. I mean, I could probably drop the scope and find them. Uh, far right over there is a little bit of rock. See, we're kind of, we're kind of on this. That's all grass. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of actually on the high spot. I'm not familiar with this area, and I got the sun in my eyes. But see, we're right here in the middle of the creek, 16 foot. About to drop. And then there's the little channel right there, that high spot right there. Man, I just kind of went right perfect over them. And uh, now I'm just going to kind of graph that through here. With all my technology stuff, I don't know how much of this, guys, you're going to get today from me. I do need a guy trying to go out and catch some fish and keep doing this. But uh, you see that little rock split right there, which is pretty interesting. It does show a road going through here somewhere. So that could be kind of part of it. All right, let me see. Don't need to go up on the bank or anything. There's you some grass there. But it does show on the Navionics map, a little road system kind of going through here. A road bed deal, which intrigued me. I like fishing road beds and stuff, but sometimes these lakes, they get silted in and you don't know what to believe. Um, but guys, I'm just showing you this. We're just kind of back on, just going through it, looking and talking, uh, which is what you're going to get with this video, unless I just see them and go up there and catch them. I'm going to try to catch some fish for you guys, but just kind of, uh, but just to go through this, just kind of see, I had some, had some guys uh, wanting to do the style of video, and I'm just gonna do it for y'all. Just check it out. If I come across some more, anything cool, we catch some. There's some grass there. See, it's just kind of sparse right now. It's not like just you know, good old. Now, hey, one thing I am doing though, guys. Remember, like back here in the back of this cove, stumps all in it. Ooh, that kind of looks like. Ah, that can't be. But there's stumps all in it back there. You can't see it, but there's stumps. And I marked it on my graph because that could be a place where fish can go spawn at, okay? There's little rock patches. I've even gra I've already marked already a rock vein, okay? There's a rock vein and it came out and then it had grass over it and I marked it. Back here in the back is a shallow brush pile that's out of the water, gonna go mark it. There's all these stumps. I should just probably show you guys. Stumps. Okay, I'm marking it off. That's what I'm doing today. All right, uh, since I'm not as familiar with the lake, this is just what I'm doing. Uh, and I, I want to catch some fish today, and we're going to right now. We're not seeing anything exciting, so hang in there, guys. Okay, guys, it has uh, been a tough day. I've had some uh, camera technical uh, issues, but I did end up, I still caught some fish. Uh, not the best day. It was a pretty rough uh, day to be exact. Caught, I think, um, 13 fish. 13 fish, my limit might have went for nine pounds. And I'm about to just go through kind of my day. We're gonna talk about the areas. I'm gonna put up some pictures of maps. I didn't get everything done recorded. I had some camera issues and I just, I kind of just uh, quit messing with it and had enough of it and just went to fishing. So I did get some, I think some some fish catches there. But I'm just gonna share with you guys how I ended up catching these fish. And uh, pretty tough, uh, tough, I don't know, early winter day. I mean, it's still fall. I mean, I know I'm dressed up, but I don't know if this is winter yet. Um, the fish weren't acting like it. So right away uh, after I fished early, but I can just tell my, um, and, and before I get going, I wanted to fish offshore mainly today and graph. I did more graphing than fishing, to be honest, guys. Uh, I think I've been out here for eight hours. I might have fished for three and a half and graphed the other. Okay, so part of that is I've not, you know, been out here in a while. And uh, I just wanted to take time to I cause a scout day. Uh, I know you, you, you as a weekend angler. Uh, or just a bass fisherman, you might can you might work three days a week, four days, I don't know, but uh, days like these are the days you get better at, where you just take time to get behind the steering wheel, you go look, and and, and with me, how I saw the fish reacting, um, first couple times I was out fishing, I, I could just tell it was one of those days, okay? Guys, that sun's there, I'm gonna put my sunglasses on. It was just one of those days to, to where it's gonna be tough. Now, when you did get around a brush pile with some fish, and you made the right cast 
and everything first cast and you got one to bite, you're then gonna get another one to bite. I had some missed opportunities today. I said, I think I told you I had nine pounds, but guys, I, I really could have had 12 to 13 pounds. I lost a big one. I lost a, I lost a good one on, on, on the jerk bait. I think it was about a two pounder. I lost another two to three pounder on the Alabama rig. And then I did lose, I think it was a three to four, four to five, probably three to four on the spoon, okay? That spoon one, if you're watching, it was a brush pile. Um, I first threw the jerk bait at it. And, uh, you know, guys, you know, I was using my forward facing sonar today. I was going to try to get y'all some footage, but I, I just, man, I don't know if I did. I had, I, it was just, I don't know, my stuff just wasn't working today. Uh, and it works and doesn't work. But I threw the brush pile with the jerk bait, and that, you know, good fish came up out of there, uh, didn't commit to it. Then I threw that in there, and it, and it ate it right away. I threw it in there, clicked it once, and that dude hammered it. I set the hook <coughs> and just lost it. Okay. And then the other two fish I lost, uh, they were shallow brush piles. And that's what I was going to get to. The pattern today was shallow brush piles. Okay. I was in the mid lake area, which the deep dive app was the recommendation for the, the best area of the lake. I ended up going towards that North river kind of beginning section. It was stained water up there and I caught fish up there. Just nothing big. I found one brush pile. They were loaded in and we, we had a blast for a couple minutes and uh, jerk bait caught the most fish today, but that shallow brush pile deal was uh, was something from Johnny's on Fish of the Moment, one of his latest videos, if it's out yet. I edited it already. I don't think he's actually put it out yet when I'm talking, but it might be out when this video's out. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't, anyway, don't worry about that. But there's a shallow brush wa water pile uh, video. Johnny um, did. He is actually using the McStick that day. Y'all don't know. He catches him with this. Uh, so I just kind of thought of it. And, and kind of and man, replicated some of the brush piles guys you could see out of the water um and, and so my, my, my approach was this jerk bait okay and then the alabama rig wherever that's at okay and you're thinking even on those uh even on those shallow brush piles guys i mean i wasn't even like four facing sonar is not needed like i caught fish without it uh now one of those brush piles that was loaded that lost some good ones man you could just see them up there and they were some good fish I just didn't execute today. I'm really just, I didn't. Um, but some of the fish I caught, I mean, I just saw the brush pile through it past it and just knew if one's gonna come out and eat it, they're gonna come out and eat it. But I reeled it right away to keep it high in the water column. Um, I use two Alabama rigs. They have the Blacks Custom Lures, and this is the Yum Flash Mob Junior. Remember, guys, if you've watched, uh, I got a co with Black Custom Lure. Uh, his Widow Maker is, uh, his umbrella rig is called the Widow Maker, okay? My code, Fish Coach, will save you and then help me out. And then I went to the uh, Yum Flash Mob after that uh, because my Widow Maker, yeah, a wire broke. It caught a lot of fish, and it finally, you know, this is what happens with these things after you catch a bunch of fish. Then I went to the Flash Mob using the Yum Scott's Burl swim baits, and there's a little Kytec Easy Shiner, okay? So nothing crazy there. And then uh, I was using this one right here. I don't know the name of this color. Man, there's so many different colors of baits. Um, it's the Vision 110. I don't know what that color is, but it's a good one. It's caught some fish. So, guys, um, but that, that, that shallow brush pile deal is something I've always, this time of year, um, I've had some success with. Last year, I was catching them more on the Nico rig with it and I was just testing it out. Years past, a fluke. Man, I remember throwing a fluke at it, a fluke at these brush piles, and Deep Dive Act recommended a fluke today. Uh, people that know me, though, I've grown up just throwing a fluke. And, and I just don't throw it as much anymore. I throw it on the hover rig. I actually threw the hover rig today, guys, and I only caught one fish with it, sadly. Uh, and, but then I ran out of some lures, and I'm doing a vi video on that um, on that soft plastic, and I didn't want to lose them because uh, I did that for the classified. I need to get some orders. So, guys, um, once again, I really think there was a shallow bite today, but I didn't want just to – I didn't, didn't want to go fish shallow, okay? Um, Briar, my man Briar's caught me right now. So I'm going to answer this because he's going to talk to me about the gray. Uh, but anyway, uh, guys, I appreciate you watching. I'm going to try to get all of my uh, stuff fixed up. Hopefully that first segment where there's me talking uh, the two segments. I tried to do another one, you know, and then I was just having some issues. So, guys, I'm going to get that figured out. My back camera, something's going on with that setup. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll figure it out, guys. Hey, we'll see you on the next one.